Hey, it's Michael Rosso, Film Photography Project, here today to talk up Kodak Ektachrome film. In my opinion, other than Kodak Kodachrome, Kodak Ektachrome, one of the greatest film stocks ever made. At the Film Photography Project, in our very store, the filmphotographystore.com, we carry Kodak Ektachrome in every format conceivable we carry it in eight millimeter super eight 16 millimeter single perf 16 millimeter double perf magazine eight magazine 16 minolta 16 for still photography 35 millimeter 120 four by five it's a great great film this particular reel i shot in the canon zoom eight camera it's a wind up eight millimeter camera i carried it with me one weekend and I kind of just shot wherever I went. Case in point, here is a pizza party at my friend Tom's house. (laughs) And I had a light panel with me, which I used a flash bracket on top to light the scenes. This scene on screen right now is during the recording of the film photography podcast. I was using movie lights, tungsten lights, indoor lighting, which is why it kind of has that orangey warm look to it because I was using indoor lights with the Ektachrome, which is a daylight film. So outdoors and daylight is where you're supposed to shoot it. If you shoot it indoors with tungsten lighting, you will get a much warmer feel to your home movies, which personally I do not mind. This particular role I shot in mixed lighting as well. Combination of daylight, and using a light panel indoors. I can't stress enough, uh, I've seen so many home movies come into the film photography project for developing and scanning. There's Track Man with a wig. <laughs> uh, and I can't stress enough that if you're shooting indoors with Ektachrome, which is 100 ISO, you will need some kind of supplemental light in order to, to, to make the film pop. For folks who watch this channel on a regular basis, you, you know that I love editing and i did take this role and i did cut two sequences out of it which i'm going to show you the first one is a sound test and of course you know shooting double eight or regular eight millimeter it's not a sound format there's no sound on the film so i did a sequence where i recorded some sound of the track man and i did the syncing meaning matching it up to the video in the editing process using final cut and You know, I've seen a lot of threads about syncing sound, and it's not easy, but in short spurts, you know, for example, a birthday party or something you may be recording, you could record the sound on your phone and then sync it up later in the edit process. Let's take a look at this quick bit that I recorded separate sound and then edited it together. Yeah? Hey! Hello? Yeah? Hey! Hey! Uh, <laughs> you the track man? Yeah! <laughs> That's it? Yeah, that have sound? Hey! Bigger? Right. This next sequence is the pizza party segment which i took and i edited it down to about one minute and i did a a sound design on it really just for fun and to have some fun (laughs) how you doing here's your shit that's the shit Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions about 
home movie film, feel free to leave a comment down below or drop me an email, michael at filmphotographyproject.com. I'm nuts about home movies, and I hope you will be too. Bye.